Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. So there you have it, all of you out there with your green thumbs that are worried about some of those early season blooms. A lot of the hardier plants are going to be able to withstand the freezing temperatures we're going to experience the next couple of nights. Now, unfortunately, sure, you were just asking me about the Bradford pears and those beautiful blooms. A lot of those white flowers are going to disappear after the freeze, so they bloomed early, but they're made to do that. So it happens from time to time, especially after a winter like we just experienced. But boy, I don't know if we're accustomed to this change. Check this out compared to 24 hours ago, temperature are running 25 to 30 degrees colder than they were yesterday at this exact same time. You may remember yesterday we were close to 70 or right at the door of 70 at this hour. We've had chilly winds to add a little insult to injury too. They've been blustery gusting over 30 miles an hour at times and those winds are going to stay up through the evening so it's going to remain mighty cold out and temperatures are going to fall quickly once the sun drops after 7 o'clock down to 34 by 9 into the 20s and by 11 o'clock we'll be down into the mid 20s and with a wind, wind chills will likely be down into the teens. So that's right. Get ready. It's going to feel more like late January, early February around here. All right, plenty of blue sky out there. Some clouds. Those clouds are going to fade away once the sun sets. We're already slipping. We're down to 39 at the airport. There's that northwesterly wind sustained at around 20. Check out wind chills across the Ohio Valley today into the teens and 20s for most of us and during the coldest time late tonight, early tomorrow morning, with temperatures down in the teens and wind still up there between about 8 and 12 miles an hour, we could see those wind chills late tonight, early tomorrow morning, possibly drop as low as briefly the single digits for a few hours. All right, let's talk temperatures today. Today's high 44. That was actually at midnight on average. Look at that. We should be into the low 50s now. So we have gone completely to the opposite end of the spectrum after being 20 degrees above yesterday. Today we were running considerably low, lower, and we're going to be even lower than that as we head into the upcoming weekend. As all of this cold air, notice the blues and pinks up across the Great Lakes in the Ohio Valley. That's going to continue to sag its way south. So far south that places in the Tennessee River Valley where you see 50s down here today are going to have snow tomorrow and tomorrow night. So we've got a cold northwesterly flow across the region. Skies will stay mostly clear tonight. Here's the storm system out near Kansas City. However, it's going to take a more southerly track, so we are going to miss this snowstorm. However, we might kind of get brushed with some high cloud cover. That will offer us some filtered sunshine for tomorrow and a chilly day. Here's a look at futurecast. You can see that cloud cover across the area. It'll be thin in variety, thin in nature, so we'll see some sun through it. And as skies clear tomorrow night, temperatures will likely fall back into the mid teens once more. And then as we get into Sunday, expect beautiful sunshine, but much like today, it will do very little to help warm us up after such a cold start on Sunday morning. So for tonight, just some high clouds. Those will arrive late tonight. 19 for the overnight low. Very, very cold. Again, wind chills could briefly dip into the upper single digits. 36, that's it for a high tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, a chilly day. Here's a look at your day planner. We're talking 19 at 8 a.m. 30 by lunchtime. We'll spend the first half of the day below freezing and then sneak our way above late tomorrow afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Don't forget tomorrow night we spring forward an hour, so set those clocks up an hour. We're down to 17 tomorrow night, only 39 on Sunday. I'm still keeping a watchful eye on early next week. Nothing here is certain just yet. However, I do believe two things. One, we'll have the opportunity for at least a little bit of snow heading into early next week. How much is still questionable? And secondly, it is going to stay very cold. A matter of fact, notice those lows next week back down into the mid teens once again. Wow. Thought that was a mistake. Okay, Kat, thank you. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, our Dish Network viewers are still unable to watch us on the satellite provider tonight.